All right, so my brother, I guess, saw this online, these Mr. Beast bars, all right? And he ordered this. I don't know why. Um, I asked him, like, how much, I guessed, and it's so crazy. So I think he said it was, like, $50 for, like, 18 bars or something. Way too expensive. I don't know why he's spending money like that. He doesn't really have money to spend like that. But anyways, let's go ahead and open this and see. I told him at least to make a YouTube video. I think he made a YouTube video on his channel. Um, I'll ask him what it is so then I can kind of forward it over. Um, he already opened this, so here you can see. Uh, this is I don't know what this thing is for. There's a QR code there, I guess, to go to their website. Maybe they're going to sell other things. Um, he was kind of laughing at it because um, when he tried it, he didn't like it. So... I guess we'll see. All right. Anyways, this box makes uh, this box makes me think that there's going to be strawberry flavors and stuff. But uh, here you can see variety pack: almond chocolate with almond chunks, quinoa crunch chocolate, and original chocolate. All right. You see 18 uh, bars, 18 2.1 ounce, 60 gram bars, net weight 38.1 ounces, 1,080 grams. All right. So there's this peel tab, but I guess he just opened it. I guess there was it just was held in place with tape. You can see the other side, the other side here. Okay, here you can see the nutrition facts and stuff and the expiration. It lasts a little bit less than a year, so about 11 months. Okay, uh, hopefully you can read all of that on your own, nutrition facts and everything. Okay, all right, and then you got the ingredients here. So may contain peanuts, tree nuts, milk, soy, and wheat. So if you have allergies, you wanna be careful with that, okay? Anyways, um, here you can see the ingredients, cane sugar, organic chocolate liquor, uh, organic cocoa butter, and sunflower lecithin. All right, cane sugar, organic chocolate liquor, organic cocoa butter, crispy quinoa, and sunflower lecithin. Uh, cane sugar, organic chocolate liquor, organic cocoa butter, roasted almond chunks, and sunflower lecithin. So same thing, contains almonds. Anyways, let's go ahead and see. We're going to try one of each. Um, apparently they have things on it that's kind of like a Willy Wonka or something. Let's go ahead and move this aside. Okay, here you can see all three bars and they have this mystery ticket thing on it. Okay, I don't know if I peel that off if it's going to reveal something that that you can take. I don't know what they give. My brother said he opened, peeled one and then he spun a wheel and it said he gets $10 off his next order. And he's like, what? I don't want to buy more of this chocolate <laughs> because he didn't like it. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and look at this. So, I don't know what the expiration date here is different. It says May 23rd, tw or, or sorry, May 14th, 2023. And they have the same ingredients and everything there and other instructions. I don't know why this says recyclable. Um, I don't think the recycling companies will take these wrappers, but uh, I don't know, I guess. All right, so over here, okay, this one says February. So, I guess the. Which one's this? The quinoa crunch doesn't last as long. And this one says February 6th. So I guess only the regular chocolate lasts, lasts as long. Okay. Got that. All right. <clears throat> All right. Anyways, let's go ahead. I'm going to peel one of these off. I'm going to kind of hold it off to the side just in case it has something that I don't want you guys to have. I don't know. It might just be junk. <laughs> Man, it's so difficult to peel these thingies off. Okay, so okay, so it gives like a, a code number and it says here to see if you want a prize or something. Then you go to this website and register with the code. And then here you go, instant win sweepstakes. I don't know if you can even read that. It's hard to read. Um, let me turn on the flash real quick and see. There you go. Uh, I guess blocking the thing makes it, there you go. You can see what it shows. No purchase necessary, all right, and a purchase will not increase your chances. So I'm, I'm wondering if he like checked every single one of these chocolates if he might win something good. I don't know if he just threw them all in the garbage. But um, yeah, all right, let's go ahead and give him a try. He said they were not very good. This is four ingredients, This has and these two have five. So we're gonna try the regular chocolate first. I think the problem is the main ingredient is cane sugar and then the second ingredient is um, like a chocolate alcohol, not chocolate. So um, actually let's take this all the way out and see if there's any design on it or anything like that. Okay, okay, so here's what it says. So 
they have this little piece to share and then the rest you it says like to devour it by yourself so i guess let's try the share portion first it doesn't even break properly okay oh the smell hmm yeah it doesn't taste like a milk chocolate like you would eat um i mean there's no milk in it um it's not disgusting but yeah oops i cracked this one all right let's go ahead and open this i'm trying to think what kind of chocolate to compare it to because I have tasted chocolate that tastes like this before. Oh, this one just exploded. Or is it that puzzle one where you move the pieces around and then you magically have a short, slightly shorter bar and extra? Well, this one's all broken, but I guess the design is the same. It has the share and devour thing. Okay, so basically the same. And I'm just going to eat a little of this. You can see the little chunks here. Alright. Mm. Hmm. My brother was saying it's more like dark chocolate. It's not so much. Maybe. I don't know. Mmm. I think because it's chocolate liquor, it has like a slight, it has an alcohol taste a little bit, which makes it not so good. Unless you like that flavor, of course. And we'll set that aside. Let's open this up. What's this one? This is the quinoa crunch. Okay, the packaging is tearing kind of weird. Okay, so this looks like a crunch bar, but let's see if it's actually good like a crunch bar. Alright, this has the same thing on the side. The wavy lines devour on there and share this tiny one. Okay, let's give it a try. Whoa. The texture is nice. The flavor, not so much. Um, it's not terrible. They're not. They're not terrible, but they're not. They're not what I was expecting for chocolate. I guess if you're thinking more of like um, not as sweetened. There's no milk in this, so maybe that's the problem. Maybe we have to melt these, add some milk, and add some sugar, and it might taste good. Um, but yeah, I like the crunch that those quinoa things add. Pretty nice, but again, the flavor, I prefer milk chocolate. Hmm. If I rate them... This one's the best. Let's try this. As you can see, there's not much almond in here. So, these two are very close to the same. But you do get a little different texture in this. So, I'm going to rate it. This one's best, then this one, then this one. Um... This isn't something I would go out of my way to eat or try. Um, I don't know, but if you want to try something different, go ahead. Uh, I don't know if, because my brother said you only can buy a whole box. So if you only want to try one of each or something, maybe reach out to me and I can ship you. <laughs> I can ship them to you or something. Um, not for free, of course. You have to pay like shipping and a little bit for the thing but at least you won't have to pay like $50 for I don't know I don't know how much it will cost to ship this actually so but uh if you're curious and you want to try it maybe I can just break a little bit or not break a little bit but ship one of each 
Um, because I don't think my brother's gonna want to eat these things all. Um, yeah. Anyways, again, they're they're all right. Um, they're not super bitter like dark chocolate. And um, it's not it's not something that I would say it's gross, but hmm. Usually I eat chocolate because I like like sweetness. So I prefer sweet chocolate, not dark cacao and all that stuff. But again, everyone's tastes differ. You might like this, but um, not so much my taste. Again, my favorite one is the quinoa one because I like the little crunchy bits that are in there. Uh, it's very similar to just like a crunch bar texture. So that's kind of cool. Anyways, that's pretty much it. That's my review for these. If you have any questions or if you had a chocolate that you think might be similar in taste with the ingredients and things like that, let me know. Um, maybe we'll experiment and I'll try mixing this with some warm milk. Turn it into like a hot chocolate and see how that goes with a little sugar. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.